Hello everybody. It's been a long time, huh? I haven't done the video in like three years. But anyway, I know it's been a while, but I finally decided to return to YouTube and do some more videos. So I decided uh, we're going to return by playing some FTL on the Multiverse mod. And I'm playing with the version 3. No. 5.3.1, which came out just today. It doesn't add anything new to the already multiverse mod, but um, it's just some bug fixes and that. But anyway, I don't have any impression of this mod. I haven't seen any videos. I haven't played it. I don't know what it's about. So, this will be completely, complete first impressions for me playing this mod. No idea what I'm getting into. Probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. Gonna probably screw up a lot. Probably die. Yeah. So anyway, let's have a look and see what's new, because I have no idea. So what do we have? Who's this? An orchard. Pacifist, huh? Buff Yuka and Rufro Oxygen, huh? Hmm. Oh, they they're plants? Okay. Well, they buff crew in the same area with them, but they are very susceptible to fire. So we've got the burst one, which is standard burst laser. Okay, what's this? Pierce laser. A laser that can pierce shields. Ha! Huh. What do you know? We've got advanced navigator. What does this do? Allows the ship to just jump beacon to beacon, huh? Okay. So, this is the ship we started off with, huh? It it looks similar to the Crestal, but obviously just in a different colour. What is this? Re oh, that's the reactor room, huh? It was a different icon, so I was confused for a second. And 7 out of 25 instead of just a bunch of others. That is actually pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to start off on easy mode. Because, um, obviously, first time playing this, this mod. And actually, I haven't even really properly played Fast and Light in years anyway. So, anyway, it said the intro is like, what, 13 minutes long or something? So I'm going to mute my microphone and just let you guys watch it. And here we go. Oh, I guess the intro is not a video. I thought it was going to be a video or something, because it says it's 13 minutes long. Okay, well... Here we go. You, Captain, are now a central part of the largest known conflict in not just the galaxy, but the multiverse itself. After the conclusion of the original Federation Civil War in Universe Zero, your home reality, the Galactic Federation defeated the Admiral Vance and the Rebellion's current control over the galaxy. Oh, okay, I get that why it's called Multiverse now. I see! So it's after the original game. I got it. Alright, keep reading. The Federation struggled with various other conflicts, most notably a cold war between the Dangerous Coalition Alliance, endorsed by the Slug Glitrophy. Oh, fuck, I can't say that. Mantis Hive, Rock Theocracy, Theocracy and the Urgan Republic. This conflict finally escalated into the invasion of Aquarian territory. I don't know what Aquarian is. Resulting in heavy losses. After the Coalition's attack temporarily stabilized, the Federation once again, Vance, ran a covert operation from the Rural Stronghold to attempt to salvage the heavily protected ancient ruins that the Coalition had been seeking as well. Through the full details, uh, though the full details are unknown, it is believed that among these ruins, Vance's team salvaged the first Multiverse Drive which would reverse engineer on and install on the remaining Rebel fleet. After a Federation raid on the Rebel stronghold, Vance and his men fled to Universe 1 and allied with the rebellion of that reality to overthrow the Federation. Universe 1, Universe 1 now acts as the center and the interdimensional rebellion operates, while Universe 0 leads the counterattack. Very interesting, so it's basically a war between two universes, like I suspected, the Federation-controlled universe and a Rebellion-controlled universe. Got it. 
regardless, so it may be, both sides are now locked into a seemingly unending conflict, evading reality to secure the strength and survival of their own faction. Make no mistake, though the rebellion continues to promote their title of a brave uprising, the rebellion is well beyond simple interaction. Though until we pass, it will appear that Universe 1 has been transformed into a des desolate and gestalt dystopia, fueling the internal gears of war. I take nothing than the total annihilation of the Federation and all non-human species. Man, that's definitely really harsh. I gotta say, it reminds me of Warhammer. <laughs> Keep reading. The whereabouts of the University of Advance are currently unknown. Though sightings of suspicious movements of the privately trained MFK Ace Corps, dying loyal to Vance Prime, have been seen all around the multiverse. The MFK Aces would likely prove to be your greatest threat, along with the powerful redesigned flagship model dispatched to this reality to destroy the Federation base and secure a rebel victory. This is where you get involved as a renegade hired by the Federation. Oh, I'm a renegade, so I'm not actually a Federation vessel. Your goal is simple, destroy the flagship, and it is highly unlikely the Rebellion will be willing to dedicate any further efforts to capturing this reality. It's far more practical for them to divert remaining rebel forces to a different reality. If you fail, this certain the Federation of this reality will fail, and this will be just another piece in the Rebellion's arsenal of enslaved realities. That's all for now, time to get on with the mission. Mission begins. Proceed with the mission. Name, Federation Multiverse Drop Point. Type friendly, unique, true, dominant faction, federation, rebel threat, level, medium. Okay. You're about to arrive at the near Federation wall bay. These hang like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between universes. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates, right? Right? You slowly exit hyperspace, transitioning to a speed safe for landing and steer closer to the hangar below. There, your ship is stocked up and prepped to head out in this foreign galaxy. Alright, you hurry to your ship and you realize you have little time. Do you want to grab a weapon, find another crew member, grab some extra resources? Okay. So, we have a burst and a pierce one, so even if we get another weapon, we can't really do much of it unless we upgrade. We only have three crewmen, so finding another crew member would be good. And we're in sector one, so we can get plenty of scrap. So I reckon crew member. Oh, we got another human guy. Alright. Finally suited up and ready to go. You take a look at your beacon map. Looks like you still have a while until the fleet becomes an immediate threat, so you can spare some time to do some stuff on the ship. Uh, perform task of salvage operation. Uh, let's do salvage since we have full health. You are able to salvage any speak tongue in a nearby area. How do we should proceed? Send out a team and we got four fuel. Nice! Okay. Here we go, everyone. So, um, first. Let's do this. Let's get these going. Uh, I'm gonna have. Actually, no, I ran out of auto file on. Since we're just starting out. View. Oh! Okay, so view ships upgrades. Well, it's certainly a bit bit different, okay. Internal upgrades. Oh my. Alright, let's not worry about that for now. Okay, let's not worry about that for now. I'm just gonna upgrade stuff like this for now. Um that advanced upgrading that we shall do another time. Okay. Let us begin. Alrighty. So we have a store. What supply? Federation Supply Depot. Merchant. What's the difference between a merchant and a store? Hmm. Maybe it's a merchant ship. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Which way do we want to go? Alright. Let's just do... Let's just go upwards. This way. Here we go. You are not surprised to see the beacons being outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Many such beacons were constructed by a prime multiverse travelers to help you prepare ships such as yourself. Fears you're a little too late something, whether they be pirate or raise this place and destroyed everything in sight. You salvage. Alright, uh, perform tasks. It said I can only do one salvage operation per, um, yeah, sector, yeah, okay. Do nothing. 
Uh, let's go to Merchant. Oh! Stranger, stranger, good to see you. Have some scrap on the house. Now that's out of the way, care for a trade. Oh, you gave me free stuff. Nice. Um, okay, so see what he's offering, sell some resources, or attack. That is a fuck ton of shields. I'm not getting through that. No way. So let's see what he's got. Need some gear for guns to survive. Right. So it is basically a store. Well, I mean, let's see, what have we got here? Archmies Heavy Missiles, the Standard Missile. We've got the Pegasus Burst Missile. Uh huh. And the Nynx Missile. These are all missiles, I see. Okay, well, the, the Pegasus could look pretty, could be pretty good, so I'm gonna get this for now. Why not? It's only one one required power as well, so I just need some can I at least buy another weapon upgrade and another power and I can be able to use it. And then we'll use free me we'll fire free missiles with the price of one, which is pretty good. Alright, let's get here. Alright, should have been here, we found your last where to die. Multiverse Explorer. Okay. Um, ready for climb? What do you want to do? Change your toggle or amp? No. Last minute checkups? What does that do? Um, let's see. Make last minute prayers? Don't need to do that. Cross the missile for each scrap? Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that either. Okay, well, let's just do nothing then. Alright, let's go. Oh. Uh, got to do this. Okay, well. We get this guy. I forgot to assign this guy. Anyway, I'll put him in shields. Okay, I'll wait till this is charged. Okay. Um, since it can pierce, let's. Can it. Does it pierce the shields? Like, does it destroy it? Let's see. Shoots two shots. Shield piercing one. So it can pierce through shields. Alright, let's go for that there and then burst laser on this. And do that. Continue to attack. Okay. Nice. Alright, good he said, go there. And the first ship is dead. Alright, flying boss from your weapons has crippled the rebel flagship soul. And it's dead. Alright, nice. Um, now I can get the weapon upgrade, but I want to get shields first, so get this for now, one extra power, and just save up for more shields. Okay, for now I put the extra power into engines for the time being. Let's go here! Federation Refilling Station, okay. Oh, the friendly place, six and danger, attack, nothing danger. We need scrap for repairs. Would you like to trade? Sure. Before you shop, you can do something aboard. Um, never mind. Do nothing. Okay. So they've got ions, huh? Well, can't really uh, afford anything. I did not realize that there was page one and two. If that was in the first slot, then I'm probably blind. But anyway. Can't really afford anything right now. What is this? A random chance for stuff? Okay. Well, can't afford anything anyway. So let's go. Oh, I forgot I forgot to heal them. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, the abandoned supply cache is in space nearby. It must have been lost during an attack. You aren't sure who it belongs to, but you could use it for a trap against the fleet or try your luck. I only have three missiles, but fuck it. Blow it open, why not? Can't be certain. Supply mini code devices. Free reactor upgrade, hell yeah. Nice. Alright, well, let's get all these guys. Heal them up. Go. Now, you can probably tell it's been a long time since I've um, played this game. Anyway, Nano. 
let's see, can attack repair or heal immunifiers, mind control, gain store facing property properties. Okay. So it's okay, I get what that is. If he if that's useful for if he's like about to die or something. It's good for attacking enemy crew too, okay. Alright, let's go here. That looks really cool. That's a nice design for a destroyed ship. Quickly damage the one ship is nearby. Scan sure that the life was beyond the non factors on they won't last long. Alright, sure let's stop, why not? Spears only one civilian survived and they're grateful for the help and offer out to join our crew. Oh yeah, we got another plant person. Alright, well you go on the doors. You're not good at anything either, so yeah, go on the doors, mate. Alright, nice. Now. Hmm. Are they gonna get this next turn? No. I could... Alright, let's go down here then. Since they're just before it. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I did get him to the rebels. Or did I know? I don't know. Anyway, let's fight! <clears throat> oh, shit. Go help him out. And... Nano! Yes! Yes. Nice. Wait, can he not attack when he's on nano? Oh, I guess he can't attack then. Okay, well, that's something I've learned at least. Alright, heal up. Alright, I'm learning, I'm learning new, the new mechanics slowly, I guess. Slowly learning the new mechanics. Open the jukebox. I can play the... Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to let it play the music. Alright, let's go... Go to the supply depot. You're not surprised to see this beacon's been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Many beacons have constructed prior to travelers. Oh, we got four missiles and 41 scrap. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Let's upgrade that shield, get another power, and there we go. We now have two shields up on the running. Good. Very good. Alrighty, now. This is a distress beacon. We can go, let's go to the distress beacon. Oh, it was a trap par pirate fighter. Well, fuck you. How dare you do that to me, I will kill you now. Um, I'm still not used to all these extra pop-ups. Um, Set to say you drone, current mode defensive. Oh yeah, I have a drone, but I don't have a drone bay though. Anyway, do nothing for now then. I don't have any much to do anyway for that. They only have a single beam weapon. Okay. Looks like they cannot do anything to me anyway. Well, this is gonna be an easy kill. Just a beam, single beam weapon, okay. Um, nope. Get fucked. And I did. Alrighty. Let's go to supply. Here we go. Oh! We got a beam weapon. Hell yeah. It is free, it uses free power. Free power. Charges the quicker, the more shots you make. Okay. Alright then. Well, that could be useful, but not right now. It 
three is a bit too much for starting out. Anyway, let's get this. And I can use that if needed now. But if I want to use the beam weapon, I could also use it uh, later on. Alright, store distress. Huh. Okay, let's go. Oh, that planet looks sucked. Uh, rebel, multiverse rebel is attacking the civilian store owner. Okay. Rescue them. Let's go. Now I know I don't need to use my um, missiles yet. That's why I'm not charging them yet. And dead. Alright. Now I know the flak is much better than the free free um free beam, I gotta say. Oh, and this is a doctor drone, huh? Heals friendly Karina impassively. Okay, well, I mean I didn't have drone system, so get rid of this. Buy sell price seventy five. I mean that's quite a lot. I gotta say though, a fl flak two is really good. This is a good beam weapon, but I mean, free power. It's quite quite. I can't use that for a bit. But the flak though. That only is two. Oh, what should I do? I mean, I I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I I really don't know. Uh, all right, let's have a think. So I want to eventually. I didn't want to get rid of the burst mark one. It's pretty trash. Okay. I could sell sell the burst mark one and replace it with the flak. I could do that. How many shots this is fire though? Um, two, okay, does the same as this, okay, here's the plan, I'm gonna sell this, and I'm gonna buy the flak, that's what I'm gonna do, 19 for, what do, what do we get, emergency manual, adds extra options, last minute preparation for combat fuel missiles, and your imports even detonate extra missiles to sabotage enemy weapons. Okay. Okay, well. Let's power that up. There we go. Now we have a flat 2, which is much better than that first gun. Alright, extra beacon. Alright. Reach the first step of the journey. Praise you on alone and probably to send one of their fighters. Let's go. Emergency manual. Several things you can do. Craft fuel for four scrap. That's actually pretty good. Craft a missile from a drone part or detonate cripple their energy weapons for ten missiles. Let's let's get an extra fuel. All right. Um, let's do that. Here we go. And let's do the black in the middle. And here's their weapons. Do that. Up here, and they should have died from that. There we go, dead. We got an iron charger, Mark 2 and 34 scrap. Alright, nice. Good job. Let's get another power and for entries. Nice. Next sector Outlast Conley or Outlast Regions. Now we have more options. We get more scrap in hostile sectors, I remember that, so up here. Alrighty, we're now in sector 2. 
All that scientists we proud to know the research wasn't in vain. Nice. The exit hyperspace. Learn about the Atlas. Sure. The Atlas is used to guide ships through hyperspace and ensure they do not jump into hazardous conditions. To do this, sectors must enter the coordinates of their star beacon into the Atlas so that many ships may be directed into it. Your Atlas is currently pulling from the Federation database, but may be updated with new coordinates you find on your travels. Oh, this is basically a tutorial, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so sector classification, sector subtypes, locates and interest. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay, I don't need to look at tutorial stuff. Alright, type neutral sector, unique false, dominant by rock. These sectors were once filled with industry and held strongly by the bureaucracy. However, in recent times, as the Elder Scrolls slowly slips from the Empire, it lands have become prime locations for political descendants and refugees ex exiled from their old homes. Apparently, a group sent by the Crystalline Empire, like for the sister species of the Russian group, taking residence here. Fortunately for you, the outcasts have little beast with the Federation or most factions for that matter. The Valkyrie prefers to stay clear of this place instead, sending contracted slavers like the Tequaka clan, as well as occasional coalition scouts to do its dirty work. I mean, an outpost guard. The outcasts have no formal structure, but the sudden epidemic of slavers haunting these sectors have forced them to tighten their security. The guard here eyes you warily, but decides you aren't a threat and keeps your distance. Uh, sure, let's contact him. Captain the vessel strokes the faint patch of moss on her chin. Oh, it's a girl, Captain, huh? Grab it between her fingers. A mixture of vitration has a curiosity. Okay, let's request supplies. It is unusual for the Federation to come in. I'm critic for them to cross aid from people, little offer in material. However, I'm a believer that good actions are a cycle. And then my brothers and sisters might not agree. I will oblige your request. Why, thank you. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Now there's a saw, but let's go. Let's go here, 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 and then go this this way. That's the plan. Go here first. You recognize the name of ship known as Ticket the Slave Trader. He hails you, offers laboring for treat. Let's look at the law. Founded originally by an exiled suzerain named Rikachi. Ri I didn't know how to pronounce that. During the onset of the Federation Mantis War, so they're Mantis people, okay? The Tikata. T Kaka are responsible for introducing the first major circulation of NG slaves to the Mantis Hive. After earning back his status as suzerain on behalf of the Queen, T Kaka's leadership passed on to his son, Ka Kat I'm just gonna ignore the same names. They continue to circulate slaves to several major powers, but their largest buyer remains the Hive. With very close ties to the Queen. They gain favorable routes through otherwise dangerous mantis space. Okay. So, should we attack, see what they're offering, or ignore? Well, I'm gonna say that we attack. Reputation is. Also, there's a reputation system, huh? The actions here will collect poorly upon the slavers and might offer you the services. They will no longer offer you better deals. If you approve to gain reputation from them. Okay, I didn't know there's a reputation system now. Last minute checks. Um, let's see. Don't need to do that. Craft a missile for eight scrap, don't need to do that. Emergency manual. Let's craft another fuel. Okay, let's do this. Let's attack that in the middle there and attack that. in the middle again, and this time go for shields. I love the flak, yes! Okay, I'm gonna accept the surrender and get this free guy. Is he good at anything? No. Well, you... Crystal guy, huh? I'm gonna put him in the shields instead of that guy, I reckon. Because he has more HP. 
Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get another power, so if I need to, I can... Oh, I need to get another weapons upgrade to use the missiles. Okay. Now let's go down here. Oh, Alka Spider. Alka Special is a podium. They're captain wearing a bright yellow leopard, carrying a heart in his head. Hulk Federation, I have taken a noble voyage to land to the dynasty and learn from the finest of poets the art of storytelling. I demand violence to my fellow, or I shall come and squish your puny scope with me between my thighs. Let's listen to it when. Um. My story begins with darkness and scream as my body. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I. I'm not gonna read. Oh. My goodness. Oh. I'm. Okay, I have. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. I'm. Okay. I don't know how many. How many times that would have done that, but, um. All I can say is, um, no. I don't have that much time to waste. I need to get scrap. Will you accept surrender? No way, man. Die. And die. And dead. Oh, okay. Well, they... Okay, we're still okay. They didn't get too far. I should have healed. Anyway. A large civilian market has been established in this system. I did Allied Federation ships control the area. All the tiers are staying out for a while for pay. Hell yeah. Federation soldiers glad to take a break. The command lets you stand guard. The shift will be one cycle. Fortunately, nothing is there. Alright. Nice. Run salvage operation. Yes. Okay, what do we got here? What is a phase one? Pierces or shield layers. Dealing ion damage for the first level of shields as well as damage what's his ever system is hit. And anyway, let's sell this. Don't need to buy anything. Firebomb and a pipe beam. Okay. Let let us upgrade that. And get that online there. Now Upgrade the engines. There we go. Now next, I will want to upgrade these two, but upgrade sensors for now. Okay. Our star. Possibly ship detected. All right, let's go down there. I forgot the hill again. Pay tribute? Hell no, but that is a cool looking ship. A smaller approach is, huh? Choose the pay tribute. More fuel. Yes. Okay. They have two weapons. What is this? A leech. Okay. Well. Let's fire here. Um... Alright, let's go. Go, Flack. You disappointed me, Flack. Go, go, go repair. Trying to get away, huh? Not on my watch, you want? Oh shit! Damn it! Didn't mean to do that. And they're dead. Nice. I'm liking this music. It's really nice. I don't know if it's too loud or not, though. But oh, whatever. Anyway, kill time. Alright, go back. Alrighty. Let's go to the next sector. Oh shit. 
that's not good. Ow. Well, shit. Okay, well... The Rebel Fleet has found you. Merchant your manual. Deals 4 damage per- oh, I'm not gonna waste that many missiles. Let us get fuel cell, yes. Okay, I had so many missiles, should I fire a missile this time? Yes! Because of ASBs, and I do not want to be stuck here. Fire! Alright, I'm gonna put auto go fire here. Yes. Fire! Jump. I'm not gonna wait there for it to die. No, thank you. Go here! Oh, just outside their range. Nothing is here, huh? Um, sure, repair hole. Using seven, seven drone parts. Well, it's not like I'm using drones anyway. Why not? NG, go, go, go repair. Go repair this. Yes. Repair it now. Okay. I have no idea how... Well, we're probably doing pretty shit. Everyone's probably yelling at me. I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep going. Um, you arrived at Long Range Beacon, you can check the next sector. Explore, why not? Come across a mining colony. They message you, saying greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out. Do you have any extra explosives? Off the blast through their mine. Don't think you quite understand, I form your infusion, but it's not exactly union friendly. <laughs> okay, perhaps it's best we don't see traits. <laughs> sure man. Alright, let's go to the next sector. Wreck territory or pirate regions? Let's go for pirate regions. Here we go. Um, Alright, proceed. Medium rebel threat domination by pirates. Pirate space is no safe spot for any ship. Fortunately, a little guild picking off the sector's inhabitants. Considering they'd just be willing to do the same to you. At the bottom of your outlet, you notice a H logo. A sponsorship it reads Come visit local Hector Industries marketplaces. Huh. Before you finish hyperspace, you're greeted by an unusual advertisement. Greetings, valued Hector customer. This is Billy Hector, CEO of Hector Corporation, speaking to you. Part of our new customer loyalty program, and proud to announce our new unwavering um, wage to selling points. It's time you visit a Hector store. Our customer support vessels will add additional points to your account. Collect enough, and you'll be able to get in our reward program. Blah blah blah. Okay. Huge Federation friendly plans still exist, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. It's a dangerous sector. Who's to pay the toll fee? Let's kill him. And let's get another fuel cell. Yes, actually, that fuel cell each turn, it will each fight is pretty good. Good to say. Alrighty. Let's do it. Yes. Shield. Keep their oh they have float, but I managed to hit them while they were floats. Like that. Can I kill their crew members? One of crew members died. They require a crest from an ASB. Oh, that is indeed not good. Die. 
it in. Alright. By killing five crowd, you know the you have no doubt to patch them the to have refall in this track you down. What do you step? You explore the sector. Run salvage operation, yes. Okay. It's, oh, it's 90 scrap for that shield upgrade. That's quite a bit. Okay, well let's get um a door upgrade. Um autopilot reels interior of enemy charge rates. I don't really need that for now. Um, probably, I'm just gonna do this for now. Alright. So I'll do. And for weapons, too expensive. Oh. Okay. Store distress, let's go down here, let's go here. Here and here. And go this way, I reckon. Let's go here first. Um, the stress beacons from a small civilian store attacked by pirates. And it's a rectangle ship this time. Rescue! Emergency manual. Fuel! Let's go! Alright, let's do this. There we go. Let's die, pirates gum. Should be easy fight. Should have done shields or something. Alright, go here. And the mantis is dead. Oh no, he's not dead, he's still alive. And now they're dead. Dead. Um, sure. I mean, it doesn't take much to fix. A flak one, we already have a flak two. Um, page two. Weapons of the day? No. Don't need that. Long range scanners. That is something I already I already had this old man. Ow. Oh. Fuel conserver. Okay. Advanced filtration. Hmm. Fuel conserver, I mean I'm getting fuel from I don't need that. Don't need it. Alright, let's go here. Heckler store. You ride, but the ship grunt you is deadly silent. After several hails, Captain Style. Oh god damn it, you wake me up. Yeah, whatever. You come to your shop or some shit. Cry about Yui points. What the fuck? You crap, I got the permission for these. I can help you set up camp or force me for 700 scrap. Are you kidding me? No. Oh man, worth a shot, but anyways, you can't. It's actually free, but set up. You can't get one Uwu point for free every time you visit a Hector marketplace. Make sure to click your Uwu point. Now go buy something or get lost. Um, do they have anything meaningful? What is this? Hell, hell. Boss module. This makes the enemy hole with heavy hitting modular weaponry. No incapabilities when combined with RAD module. Um. Okay, so it basically two times damage for laser beam and missile weapons. Ten percent breach chance. Missile weapon cooldowns by two. And. This one is for beams and lasers. Lasers, two plus projectiles, one, but it has one extra power cost. Interesting, and modular missile. It sports um, two power for a missile. I think missile one that we have right now is fine. Don't need anything. Okay. Here. Um. Right. Okay. See what they're selling. Flak charger. Charge up the free shots for a flak. That certainly is interesting, but no thank you. I don't need any more weapons. 
can't really afford anything, no. Alright, next. Let's go down here. To a nearby star, huh? Okay. Here we go. Okay, fuel cell. Yeah! Alright. Alrighty, let's do this. Well, I don't know what beam weapon that is. And let's target that. Martins broadcasting claiming have a claim for sale. They are merchants of fine silk, a massive interdimensional smuggle operation run by a wealthy man named Akum. Okay, they're basically a black market. They serve anyone, including Federation, Rebel, Coalition, Pirates, whatever. They ignored by Federation forces, okay. Hell the shit. Well, um, would you care to take a look? Sure. We specialize in drones of all kinds. Guardian Drone Mark II. Anti-missile. Multi-purpose defense drone that can swap between anti-missile and anti-drone mode. Shoots faster than the Mark I. Required power free. Orbit speed 5, projectile speed 200. It actually seems pretty not bad. However, wouldn't the defense drone be better because it can only shoot missiles or drones? Eh, whatever. Let's, let's go for it. Let's try and get a drone bay eventually now. You go heal. Nice music. Nice. Alrighty. Go up here. Um, another, another more offerings, huh? Don't need that. Do nothing. Okay then, down here. Collect Uwu Point. Yeah. Um, do they have anything? No. They're flat free. No, flat IV, I mean. Full power? No, thank you. Another pierce laser. Get that. No. Alright, well, go down here. Collect Uwu point. Drone control? It's 75. Guardian is pretty cool, it can, it, it can attack um, other drones as well, not just um, missiles. Alright, let's go get that other Uru point up there. Why not? Explore. Attack the Slaver Scum. Yes. Merchant Manual Fuel Cell. Let's go! about to die, so run away. Don't have oxygen, just run away! 
Run away! Repair! The flag just completely missed. Okay. Good job, fight. Oh, well, I've got plenty of missiles, but I mean, they're about to die anyway. So it's fine. A rock crew member, sure, why not? He's good at fighting people, huh? Okay, well you, my man, can go in the shield room. And you go in the med bay and heal up. Now, I didn't... I'm not earning as much scrap from here. I mean, I could probably attack those smugglers, but whatever. Alright, let's go up here. Do it point again. You actually have four. Do you have brain damage? Why would you visit so many souls? Congratulations, here's the shiny key to the Heckler Mega Market. Something we wave our bigger weather. We spent special coordinates, and you can jump there during any sector before the capital. Okay. Okay, well, don't have enough money for anything. Um, let's go up here. More slavers, huh? Alright, I'm... Let's die. Last minute checks, emergency manual fuel, yes. Okay. It's a Zoltan shield this time, huh? <clears throat> Alright, yes. Good job. They're trying to run. Slug guy as an engine crew mate. His engine's better than my current guy. Okay. There we go. Nice. Um. Okay, let's do this. Cause the uh, plant guy. Yeah, I think swap swap these two around. You go there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Since they heal. Um. They're basically crew member bus. Those plant people. Alrighty. Let's go to the next sector. Hive space, which sounds like the Zerg or Coalition. Let's go hive space. Here we go. Oh, it's the Mantis. That's what Hive is. Mantis. Okay, Mantis territory is heavily protected by the Hive, divided into segments, and watched by suzerains. The sector is no place for a federation ship. Exit hyperspace. And you entered the fully charted area space that's then be the home to the Mantis. The crew is thought to be alert in the case of any Mantis stowaways taken on board. It's not long before the sword will not spot you. Midbag does a sector will kill you. Um, well, let's fight. Do last minute checks. Feel. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna use my um. Go up here. I'm going to use my um. Really, let's wait. We've got two shields this time. Oh shit! Run! Fire. They're all in the one room. But they have a clone bay there. 
ASP is locking on. Oh, uh, they're about to die anyway. Fire! Die! And they're dead! Alright. Um. Alright, let's go! Let's go warp here. I'm gonna to kill this lost ship and then end this video, everyone. Let's go! Last minute checks. Missile. Alright, alright, go here. He didn't heal fully, but oh well. Boom. Back down here. Go heal. And they're dead. Alrighty. I'm gonna end this video here, everyone. Thank you for watching my horrible play. I definitely probably suck. But anyway. Thanks for watching the video, if you're somehow still at the end. And bye bye!